Something a couple of people have noticed and pointed out, and I, I think could be fixed pretty quickly if you have interest, is if you add drop downs in your menus, which can easily be done under your menu settings. So, for example, here I've got my recipes, and then I put two sub menus under there. If I go scroll over that menu now, although it looks fine right now, when I hover over it, it goes to a stark contrast, a black background with white text, and it's just a little bit harsh. It's a little bit much for a contrast from the white with the black text. And so I know other people and I, I would probably change this too. And it can be done. You do have to jump in the code a little bit and I'm happy to include the code below so you can customize it, make it fit for your site. But I will show you how to do that. So under appearance, you can go to editor and you'll be brought to your style sheet. And this is the style sheet as presented through WordPress. It is fine to edit. You have to be a little bit careful sometimes. You might, before you even mess with this, make sure that you have the update file button enabled. If you have some reason that it's not enabled, it might be blocked by your host to edit this way. You'll still have some way to edit your style sheet. It's just you either need to contact your host or you need to access the style sheet through an FTP uh, little uploader and, and that would work as well. But either way, if, they, if you have a way to get to your style sheet, it should look something like this. And what we need to do is change our menu selection, our menu background color, and our text on there. I think the fastest way to, to find those is actually to just use your find function in your browser. So if you go to like edit find, and then you type in something like Genesis, oop, you have to spell it right, that will help. Genesis nav menu, and then sub menu. And oh, that still actually gives us a lot. So let's do sub menu. And then we want it to be the A hover and current. So yeah, here we are. This is, it's a little bit down here, just for reference. So you can see it's uh, probably, whatever that is, 65% of the way down. So you, you can find it just by scrolling it, but it is a little bit more tricky, but it should be set up so that the color, which is gonna be your text color is white and the background color is almost black. Now, I would probably change the background to white. Of course, that would mean that you have white text on a white background. And I'll include this down below again, but if you change it to something like this, so your text color is 333, it's kind of a gray, dark, dark black, and your background is white. Now, if I refresh my page, I updated that style sheet and I scroll over, that's the default. So you could use something as an in-between. Maybe you don't want a white background. You'd still like something that goes as a light, something you could use 666, it's still gonna be pretty dark gray, but just gives you an idea of what you need to update and what would be, there we go. So that's, that's pretty dark. I wouldn't use one that dark but maybe you could use another, I'm trying to think here of a, of a quick one, probably CCC, that might actually be a pretty pretty cool fit. The text color looks like is the same or would be very close. Sometimes you have to refresh your page a couple times. There we go. So that looks, I think, a lot better than the black on white. Tinker around or obviously make it fit if you have other colors that you're using or that's what you're looking for. But in your editor, under your style sheet, if you can find this Genesis nav menu, sub menu, and edit those two properties that will fix your drop down background and font color.